Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is Study Startup, Challenges and Strategies, and will be presented by Jennifer Prather of Integrative Measures. Jennifer is a certified clinical research associate with over 20 years in the field of clinical research. Her experience combines both academic and industry clinical research trials. Among her professional experiences are managing phase one through three clinical trials, developing, implementing, and coordinating an institution-wide compliance monitoring program, and mentoring clinical research personnel. Her blend of in-house and in-the-field experience has defined her career as an independent contract and research consultant. The goals we've set for today's discussion include explaining challenges related to the efficiency and effectiveness of study startup, identifying strategies that can be used to improve study startup, discussing real-world examples of challenges and solutions in study startup, and finally, describing concrete steps towards improving study startup. We'll start by establishing and maintaining clear lines of communication with so many teams involved. We've seen from the sponsor side to the CRO to the site, you may have anywhere from 20 to 30 to 50 people who are actually involved in trying to get a study up and running. And with so many teams involved in SSU, we want to make sure that we do everything possible to help our sites know who to go to with what question at what time in the lifespan of the protocol. And here we have some next steps to improve study startup continued. Again, we're going through this initiate proactive startup plans, making sure that the logistics are all laid out. I'd even encourage you to do a mock enrollment process so you can get the feel of a study and how and when a patient comes in, when they're identified, what the recruitment process will be like, as well as the enrollment. Abide by clinical trial agreement timelines. This is a hard one, but when the logistics are laid out and identified properly, this can really make a trial work even more effectively routine meetings to assess timelines, management, and otherwise notify the CRO immediately of delays and the next best dates for next steps in the study. I'd also invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly, as we are continually adding new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance, and professional development.